On July 10, the INS Vikrant, an indigenous Indian aircraft carrier, completed the fourth stage of sea trials, which entailed integrated tests of significant onboard systems and equipment, including some from the aviation facilities complex. India's newest and most powerful ship, the aircraft carrier INS Vikrant, was inducted into the Navy on 2 September 2022. In light of escalating tensions with China and the People's Liberation Army, PLA, Navy of China expanding its excursions in the Indian Ocean region, the arrival of INS Vikrant represents a substantial improvement in the Indian Navy's ability to project power, IOR. Let's talk about 10 facts related to Vikrant and Fujian. Number 10. INS Vikrant is visible in one of the photographs of the new aircraft carrier that the Navy also made public, while a naval Dhruv helicopter is visible in the other image hovering above the flight deck. Additionally positioned on the flight deck are a Kamov Ka-31 helicopter and a MiG-29K fighter plane. Number 9. Vikrant, an aircraft carrier built at the state-owned Cochin Shipyard Limited (CSL) with 76% indigenous materials, was created by the Directorate of Naval Design (DND) of the Indian Navy, joining the select group of nations that also includes the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, France, and China. Number 8. The first phase of sea trials on INS Vikrant ended in August 2021, while the second and third phases followed in October 2021 and January 2022, respectively. The propulsion system, electrical and electronic systems, deck machinery, life-saving equipment, and the ship's navigation and communication systems all underwent endurance tests during these three phases of the trials. Number 7. On June 17, China also launched its Fujian or Type 003 aircraft carrier. Type 003, which is China's third aircraft carrier and the first with an entirely indigenous design, is named after the Chinese province of Fujian. According to experts, the Fujian will likely be utilized to project Chinese influence in the Indian Ocean in the South China Sea SCS. Number 6. Except for the fact that it has a displacement capacity of more than 80,000 tons, which is more than double the 37,500 to 40,000 ton displacement capacity of the Vikrant, China is not known to have revealed the precise technical details of the Fujian. Number 5. The INS Vikrant is just 262 meters long, has a 62 meter beam, and is 59 meters tall. It has 2,300 compartments, 14 decks, including 5 in the superstructure, and a crew capacity of 1,700. Female officers have their cabins. Vikrant can operate short takeoff but arrested landing STOBAR, aircraft with two takeoff runways and a landing strip with three arrestor wires based on the ski jump ramp technology. Number 4. About 24 Russian-built MiG-29K fighter jets that are also stationed on the INS Vikramaditya will be flown by Vikrant. The F-A-18E Super Hornet from Boeing and the Rafale M, Marine, from Dassault Aviation are the two contenders for the Indian Navy's fleet of deck-based fighter jets, which is also in the market for new aircraft. The warship will also fly multi-role MH-60R helicopters, Kamov-31 helicopters, and other indigenously produced cutting-edge light helicopters. Number 3. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, which Fujian uses to deploy its aircraft, allows the aircraft carrier to launch a wider variety of aircraft. An aircraft can take off from a runway that is shorter than its necessary takeoff roll using the ski jump ramp on a carrier flight deck. Number 2. The electromagnetic catapults of Fujian can push heavier aircraft at considerably higher speeds than the ski jump ramp that Vikrant utilizes, allowing the latter to launch fighter jets laden with more ammunition. Large transport aircraft and drones that outperform aircraft carriers transport helicopters in terms of range, speed, and cargo capacity can also be launched by EMALS. Number 1. The J-15T, a J-15B with a catapult that takes off from the STOBAR ski jumps of Type 001, Liaoning, and Type 002, Shandong, aircraft carriers, will be operated by Fujian. The Russian Suhoi Su-33 is the model for the J-15 Flying Shark. Currently, the FC-31, Jurfalcon, is being tested and is waiting for serial production, making it the only carrier-borne fighter in the service of the PLA Navy. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. See you in the next video. Please share with everyone. Thank you.